Hello, battery storage or energy storage, what is it? Um, I'm going to put this clip together to try my best to explain what it is because I think you're going to start seeing more of this. So, battery storage system, essentially what you're doing is you're storing power in a large battery to use at a different time of the day. So, how does it come about? Probably two reasons it's getting popular. One is so if it's tied into a solar system, so solar panels on the roof, it's ensuring that all you capture um, is getting used or going into the battery. And then therefore at night time, you're using the power, or sorry, the energy you've stored in the battery to power your house at night. So that's if it was tied into a solar system, but it doesn't have to be tied into a solar system. So another reason it's getting quite popular is because of different um, tariffs. So you're talking dynamic tariffs. So a little bit like off peak where you can be getting cheaper energy at night time, say, or throughout different parts of the day. So you can actually charge that battery on the cheap rate and then discharge it at a time that suits. So it would make sense when, when it's more expensive. So I'm going to talk about different tariffs shortly. So that's probably the, the main reasons why these, these systems are, are getting very popular. If you're putting solar panels on just now, putting a battery in with it is an absolute no-brainer. Predominantly because if you've done tariff, it's pretty much finished. You can export, but what they're giving you is rotten, so you might as well use it first and foremost, then store it to use it. So going back to it, if you've got a solar system, um, a battery is a no-brainer. It, it has to be part of it nowadays, which would then be um, via what's called a hybrid inverter. So that ties in with the battery as well. So how are the batteries measured? So kilowatt hours, so that's how many, how much energy they'll store. So the one that we've got at home is a 6.3 kilowatt hour battery. So what's a kilowatt hour? So if you had a one kilowatt heater and ran it for one hour, you've used one kilowatt hour. So that's pretty simple how it works. So 6.3 kilowatt hours, um, if you had that one heater, one kilowatt heater and you ran it for 6 Point three hours that's you used up all the energy. Um, albeit our one won't discharge under ten percent, so that's just to to maximise the maximise the life of the cells. So they operate best pretty much at room temperature. However, there's a huge big scope of the temperatures that you can put them in as well. Some of the potential drawbacks on the battery. So you have a maximum charge and discharge rate so again on our battery the maximum charge and discharge rate is 2.2 kilowatts so what that means is so let's say you're running off battery alone at night time because there's no solar or you don't have a solar system so let's say you were running a, a three kilowatt um, kettle for example our battery would only allow you 2.2 kilowatts the remainder would have to come from the grid, so from your electricity supply. So that's a little drawback. Um, so that's charge rates and discharge rates. But uh, the other drawback, which is the obvious one, is the price. They're not cheap. Um, somebody told me uh, a few weeks ago, uh, regardless when you buy a battery, just now it's always going to be a bit cheaper next year. Who knows, it might be, it might not be. That's a little drawback as well. Uh, or actually quite a big drawback is the cost of them. So what we've found with our system is in the winter, um, we're not filling the battery in the summer, we were filling that battery no problem. We were hardly pulling anything from the grid at all, you know, pennies. Uh, sometimes it was under a kilowatt hour in the summer, so less than 15 pence um, worth of energy you were pulling from the grid. But in the winter, it's a completely different story. You obviously lose um, sunlight hours. Um, coupled with the fact we've just a really bad run of weather, we, we notice we're just not getting the batteries filled. So we need to do something about that and the way to, to maximise the efficiency of the battery is to force a charge into that battery. So how do you do that? Why would you do that? Well, why you would do it is because it's more efficient. Um, how do you do it? So you're going to import energy into your battery cheaply. So you're going to get energy off your provider, probably around about five pence a kilowatt hour, and then you're going to use that at a time that suits you. So 
There's, the way to do that is by getting onto some of the dynamic tariffs. So there's some dynamic tariffs. I'm going to talk about a company called Octopus, and they offer a couple. They are probably they probably came about predominantly for electric car charging. So one of them, which is called Octopus Go, allows you cheap energy between half past twelve, I'm sure it is, and half four in the morning. At, uh, I'm sure it's five pence a kilowatt hour. So again, if you're an electric car, that's the obvious time to charge that. But we can we can use that as well. So we can force a charge into our battery. So we can get that totally topped up um, at five pence a kilowatt hour. So that's a no-brainer. If that battery is not getting filled by the PV, we should be forcing it at the cheap rate. So the other there's another tariff called Octopus Agile. So that one gets me a little bit more excited. Um, and again, it's pretty cheap most of the day. And then it pretty much rockets between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., which is, is peak demand. So that's when the grid struggles um, and that's when energy is quite expensive. So it's tracking the half hourly retail price. So assuming we can store energy within our battery and not pull from the grid between 3 and 6, we're going to save a lot of money. So again, we can charge um, charge that up overnight to the full 6.3 if we want and we probably will and then again we can top it up or force it back up to 100% just before that peak and the energy is still pretty cheap just before the peak so that's what we're going to, going to do about that so the average energy consumption for a household is about 11 kilowatt hours per day and we do fall in between there so in theory if you can charge that battery um, which is a 6.3 kilowatt battery twice during the day, you're almost guaranteeing the price you're going to pay. So that, that's certainly what we are going to be doing. I just want to show you the actual statistics of a full year's worth of half hourly readings from Octopus. Okay, let's look at this. So this is a spreadsheet that's actually on the Octopus website. So you can find us via the, the website and this is the Agile tariff that they're tracking. So the region here is East Midlands, clearly not where we are based, but this is East Midlands half hourly data. That's the prices that you're getting charged with the VAT. So let's just pull it down to the middle and have a look to see what how it varies through a day. So where are we? Let's go for midnight here. So they're getting charged 4.2 pence and then it, you're talking five, nearly six pence, five pence, three or four pence, five pence. So it's pretty low, um, certainly low overnight. Then where does it start to creep up? It creeps up quite a lot. At this time, so four o'clock. So if you look at that, it's been right up to 21 pence. So that's what you want to avoid. 23 pence, 27 pence. That's quite expensive at five o'clock. And then the last expensive one there is half past six. And then it starts dropping right down again. Now, if you look at pretty much any day, it always follows the same, the same sort of trajectory there. So again, going back to what we want to do, we want to make sure our battery is full um, overnight. So again, probably start it around about the midnight. So let's just choose another day. Midnight. So there we would be looking to fill that battery at roughly four, five, six pence. So something in that region, which is which is cheap. That's really cheap energy. And then again, what we can do to avoid that uh, expensive time in the middle is give it a top up, say two or three o'clock in the afternoon when it's still cheap. So two or three o'clock this day, again, look, it's five, four pence, four pence. That's really cheap. So we can charge our battery again, top it up there, ensuring that the bulk of what we use at dinner time, which is when we use most of our energy, it's going to be cheap. So that that's why we want to move on to this tariff. This tariff could also suit some electrical heating customers as well. The, the big obvious thing to say is do not be putting your heaters on between three and six o'clock. If you can avoid that, I think you'd save a fair bit of money moving on to a tariff like this. So going back to it, 
You've seen um, what, what we want to do to maximise the battery capacity. So I hope that explains a little bit more what battery storage and energy storage actually is. Any queries or questions, just get in touch with us. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.